Well, we know in a Colorado summer during the drought, it's very rare you get the chance to light a campfire. The new normal has been regular fire bans in many counties to prevent wildfires. But a wet monsoon summer means campers in some areas can light those campfires again. All fire restrictions in Eagle County, Summit, Pitkin, Mesa, and Gunnison counties will be lifted this weekend. Our Mountain Newsroom reporter Jamie Leary on that story in Summit County. And Jamie, park rangers still telling everybody, be extremely careful. It only takes a few hot days to reverse conditions, but experts say that fuel moisture levels in the fuels and vegetation around here continue to increase. And of course, campfires are acceptable at this point right now because the fire danger is so low, even in non-designated areas. The first two days I was here, I think it rained for a total of five hours, something like that. Kyle Moran of Fort Collins hasn't had a vacation in six years. For the next 10 days, he's found a little slice of paradise in the Williams Fork. And all that rain? I love it. I mean, every day, uh, usually about between 3.30 and 4.15, you'll get about 30 minutes, a uh, light shower, something like that. To top it off, beginning at 12.01 a.m., he can have a fire at his dispersed campsite. It's when all fire restrictions in the county will be lifted. That's great. I mean, now I don't have to run into town and spend money on, uh, like, um, stove fuel and yeah. stuff like that. Kelsha Anderson is a ranger for the White River National Forest. She says it's not often restrictions lift midsummer. This point of the season, it's, it's probably somewhat rare. We have received considerable rain across the forest in the past few weeks. The recent moisture and humidity, along with cooler overnight temperatures, have reduced fire danger significantly. That doesn't mean they couldn't change, and it doesn't mean that there's no risk. It's still crucial campers keep an eye on local restrictions and use common sense. You know, if it's really windy or if it's really hot and dry, um, maybe consider an alternative. And keep in mind that our fire season doesn't typically start until late summer. East Troublesome Fire, that started in October. But for now, the Summit County Sheriff tells me we expect wet conditions for at least the next two weeks. Live in Summit County, Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom.